Hi, I'm Trevor Lund of RevTrev.com, and today is the Ministry Coaching with Rev Trev. And you remember last time I talked about administration, why it's so important for your ministry. And again, I'm focused on that. Uh, today I want to look at why your ministry needs a list. Now, when I say a list, many of you might be thinking about a mail list, and that's a that's a great thing to have. You know, like when you go speak in events, if, you know, even Sunday morning in a church, you know, ask the leadership of the church if it's okay for you to have a sign-up list for your, for your newsletter, and um, whether that's a physical newsletter that people get and you mail it to them. I do it electronically because it's free. <laughs> And I can measure the results right away, and I can connect with people. And uh, the tricky part is when people sign out their email address on the list, like if, if you're speaking and they sign out their email address, you uh, sometimes can't read those all, all of those things. So um, in, a, in another video, I'll tell you how to build your list and grow your list and set up your list, and uh, I know how to do it for free. I know how to do it. Uh, I use a paid service that I'll tell you about too just because I'll tell you all those details later. But today I just want to focus on why you need a ministry list. Um, two main reasons. First of all, uh, I want you to see it as a tool. It's a tool for you to connect with people. It's a tool for you to help people. And here's how I connect and help with people through my email list. Um, first of all, I have an autoresponder set up, and if you're, you know, if you sign up to get this in your email, you're going to see, you know, what's what's coming, right? The autoresponder is I've set up a series of uh, emails that automatically get sent out when people sign up, and in those emails, there's a pattern that they follow. And if you're interested in the template, I can send you that template. Just send me an email to revtrev at revtrev.com, and uh, I'll give you the template for that. Basically, what I do is uh, I, I have a lot of free resources that I've written up, and sometimes it's just a, a PDF report, sometimes it's a, an image, you know, like I, I do a lot of writing, and that's easy for me to turn it into something that uh, it's, it's a value to people, so I offer it for my subscribers only. And um, basically, once you have the uh, autoresponder set up, you want to add to that autoresponder. You know, I, I've done it with my business um, not for my business, but for the clients of my business. Every month I write another two or three up. For my ministry, I've just started to do that. And, I, and the pattern that I follow, I want to add three a month. I want to have one that's encouragement. And I've had people email me saying, listen, can I get this on your, can you put it on your website so I can tweet it out and send it to people because it's, it's really encouraged me. And those encouraging ones, I, I do that because it's extra content for my, my blog and I'll talk about why I want content on my blog at a later time too. Um, so it's the first one is encouragement. It's just something that God's given me. It's like a quick devotional, a quick thought. It's something that's that's down there uh, and, and can, can encourage people. And the second is I want to give a gift. And so whether that's, you know, you're, you're signed up to my email list here for ministry coaching, you get um, like a ministry marketing plan, right? Like that's on the links right in the, the, the email so it's it's things like that you know like um, I've got some really cool ones for revtrev.com coming up too <laughs> that I'm, I'm excited about uh, so there's the encouragement there's the gift and then I want to have a pitch in there too so whether the pitch you know we've got expectancy press set up and I'm really focusing all my email lists on uh, on the products that are in there they're quality products they're they're good, um, whether it's a message that people can download for $2.99 or whether it's an ebook that they can get uh, for, I think they start at $6.99, go up to $14.99 or, you know, a physical product. I, I basically am selling a lot more digital than physical, which is fine with me because I don't want to deal with shipping. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's the encouragement, there's a gift, and there's a pitch. And uh, every month I want to add those ones. Now, um, I can do that quite regularly because, like, I've released four or five new products for Expectancy Press this month. If you can't produce things at that level, uh, don't worry about it. You know, send the gift and send the encouragement or just send the encouragement. Like, keep it up to date with people so that they're always growing. 
let me tell you, this, this is phenomenal. This is something that every single person who has a list should do. The autoresponder is absolutely phenomenal. I get, I get emails from people every day from all around the world telling me about how it's encouraged them, asking for prayer, doing all these different things. Autoresponder, use it. It's really important. Um, now, the other thing with my autoresponder, in addition to that, I also send out a weekly newsletter. And I started working on this week's already for RevTrev.com. And uh, I just noticed I've started in February doing this. And February, March, April, I think I've missed a few months. But I've, I'm back pretty solid the last couple of months. And I am just amazed at the open rate. And I'm amazed at the click-through rate of my newsletters. People are reading my newsletters. And it's just, it's, it's awesome. Like, I, I, I knew it before. Because I'd have people comment on it. You know, they'd tell me about they love that story that I wrote about Thaisa or they love this that was going on and it really encouraged them. And so I, I, you know, from people I ran into on the street that I knew that my friends closest to me were reading it. But uh, looking at the stats, it's, it's really been encouraging to see how many people open it and how many people click through. Now, don't worry about uh, when I get into the physical, like how to set up an autoresponder and everything. Don't worry about the opens because uh, what happens is the, uh, the autoresponder will put an image in the email that tells it when it has been opened. And a lot of people have email readers. Like I've got one to read all my Gmail accounts. And when I view it in that reader, I don't see the images. So the images don't open. So you don't see, uh, a, it doesn't keep a record that for people that I've opened it, even though I've opened it, I've read it, I might have clicked on the links and got to their site and done those things. You know, pay attention to the click-through rate. That's the important thing that you want to pay attention to in your newsletters. So, why you need, uh, why your ministry needs an email list, uh, well, needs a list, uh, specifically email list, is one, it, you use it as a ministry tool. Two, it's going to open up doors for you. Like, just... When you are, the, the proverb is, he who refreshes others, will he himself be refreshed? Um, you know, as you are out there doing the work of the ministry, especially using the ministry tool of, a, of an email list, or, you know, I've got friends in ministry that, you know, <laughs> one friend, he, he uh, from, his, from his list, uh, you know, somebody paid for their entire summer budget like $250,000 that was taken care of by one person who was connected for years through the constant communication that he had with, with this person. Uh, it opens up doors for you. Uh, I get invitations all over the world to go because of my email list, because also my blog, but my email list is probably more important than my blog. And in fact, I know it is. Um, Autoresponder is huge. Use the newsletter. Don't do it up. Even if you do it once a month, make sure you do it every month. I like to do it every week because I see people responding to that. And if that's too much for them, they, they leave. And that's fine. <laughs> if someone leaves, I know. it's it's Every time I check my email, I get two or three or six or ten people sign up to one of my email lists. And that's really encouraging. And then once a week, someone's going to unsubscribe. And it's like, oh, no. They don't like me anymore. Um but yeah, don't worry. You don't want anyone on the list that doesn't want to be on the list. And uh, if you email me, RevTrev at RevTrev.com, I'll, sh I'll give you the template that I use. Uh, and it's edited for however you want um, to use it. But basically, uh, you want to let people know why they're on the list, what they're going to expect, how they're going to uh, interact, and you know how to get off it if they want to be off it. Anyway... This two-minute ministry coaching tip is now nine minutes and 17 seconds. So have a great week, and we'll uh, touch you, uh, touch base with you, <laughs> touch base with you uh, in the upcoming week. I'm Trevor Lund, RevTrev.com, and this has been Ministry Coaching with RevTrev.